There were two events in the history of Marathon County that helped shape the unique story of the Marathon County Historical Society. Both of these events happened in the mid 20th century and at the time had little to do with one another. The first event takes place in 1939 and the centennial celebration of Marathon County. The event didn't actually celebrate the founding or inception of Marathon County, rather the 100 year celebration of the first surveying done in 1839 by George Stevens of what would later become Marathon County. In June of 1939, there began a lively eight-day celebration of the community's history. The celebration had various events, such as a parade featuring the Wassa Senior High School Band performing the Star Spangled Banner, the competition and crowning of Mrs. Wassa, and the grand event, a 600-person stage show entitled Highlights of a Century. Community leaders encouraged those who partook in the event to present family antiques that harken back to the earliest pioneering days of Wisconsin. After the end of the event, the community leaders were left with a bit of a problem, for they simply had no place to store these works of historical significance, and no one rightly wanted to get rid of them. These artifacts jumped around for roughly 25 years with no clear solution to the issue. Meanwhile, the second event has to do with one of the community's leading families, the Yaki family. In the early 1950s, Lee Yaki Woodson and her three daughters presented the home of her parents, Cyrus Carpenter Yaki and his wife, Alice Richardson Yaki, to the newly formed Marathon County Historical Society. The late lumberman Cyrus and his wife Alice were two of Marathon County's most renowned citizens. The Marathon County Historical Society had only recently been formed. It had received its charter from the Wisconsin Historical Society in 1952. The Yaki's beautiful home at 403 McIndoe Street has elements of both the classical revival style of architecture on the exterior, as well as art and craft influence design on its interior, and was clearly an important home to preserve, not only from an architectural standpoint, but also because of the importance that the Yaki's play to their community. So you have these two somewhat disparate events around this time. The leaders of the Marathon County Historical Society realized the importance of preserving not only the home's and family's history, but also that this could possibly be the answer to the problem of where they could preserve these artifacts from the centennial celebration. So in 1954 and 1955, the Marathon County Historical Society converted the second floor of the home into a gallery-style museum as a way to preserve these unique bits of history for future generations. In 